I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and writing excellent comments. As per your request, here is a video to master exponential functions. We'll begin with very simple examples. In this video, we are going to find just the y-intercept. Now, to understand the concept, we have 10 simple questions, and to master it, we have 10 more, which include 5 plus 5. Last 5 are the test questions for you. I hope you find the series very interesting and useful. Share your comments and provide suggestions. So, let me begin with sharing with you the 20 questions we are now talking about, where we are going to find the y intercept for exponential functions. So, then exponential functions y intercept will be very easy for you so here are the next 10 ne next 5 which is 10 questions now next 5 makes it 15 and then we have a set of 5 which are the last 5 test questions for you on this topic let's now begin with our solutions so when we talk about y intercept what does it really mean it means where the graph crosses y-axis, right? So basically, we are looking for a point where graph cross y-axis. This is y-intercept, right? Now, if you sketch the graph of an exponential function, normally, it should look like what? It should look like this, right? Either it is always increasing or always decreasing. We have a video on that to understand where is it always increasing and where is it always decreasing? Now, this point here is called the y-intercept since this is where the graph crosses the y-axis. You get the idea. x value being 0. So, for y-intercept, what are we going to do? We are going to place x equals to 0 and find the value of y. Simple as that. So, let's try to do it in question number 1. So, y-intercept will be substituting x equals to 0 we get y equals to 3 to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is just 1. And therefore, we get the y-intercept, right? So let me make this column here and write down the y-intercepts here, right? So in the first case, of course, we got 1 as a y-intercept. In the second case, if I substitute x equals to 0, I get y equals to 5 times 2 to the power of 0. Now, 5 gets multiplied with 2 to the power of 0, which is 1. And so, what we get here is y-intercept of 5. You get the idea. So, the y-intercept turns out to be the value of a in the expression a, b to the power of x, right? If that is just the function we are talking about. Making sense to you, right? So, now you can continue with me. Substitute x equals to 0. We get y equals to minus 7 times 5 to the power of 0, which is minus 7. So, we have negative 7 this time as the y-intercept, right? Next one here, substitute x equals to 0. This gives you y equals to 5, 4 to the power of minus x, minus 0, and 0 is one and the same thing, right? So, it gives you 5 again, right? 5 times 1, let me write it. And that is your y-intercept. Is that clear to you? This time, we have a fraction. So, when I substitute x equals to 0, I get y equals to 5, within brackets, half to the power of minus 0. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. And so, this is also 5 times 1, which is again 5. So, remember, we now know that anything, right, b to the power of 0 will be 1. So, that is key. Correct. Let's move on and take the next set of five questions. This time, they're slightly different. But the concept is same. And that is to say, we need to find the y-intercept. So, what are you going to do, right? To find the y-intercept, just write x equals to 0 in the equation. So, and find the y-value. So, we get y equals to 3.50 to the power of 0 plus 2. Anything to the power of 0, we know b to the power of 0 is 1. 
and therefore we get 1 here plus 2 gives me a y intercept of 3 this time. So when we have a function which is ax, ab to the power of x plus c, this is slightly different. You, can you write down a general solution? Yes, you can. So try it out, right? Next one, let me continue. You can also now pause the video, answer these questions, and then check your solutions. Now we have 1 plus 7 times 2 to the power of 0, which is 1, which is 1 plus 7, and that is a. Perfect. The next question is y equals to 2 to the power of 5, negative 0, right? But it is 1 and the same thing. So 2 times 1, again 2 for us. y equals 2, fractions this time. 3 by 2 to the power of minus 0, but anything to the power of 0 being 1, we still have 3 as a y intercept. Is it making sense to you? Perfect. You can always pause the video, look at it, and in case you want to learn directly from me, send an email to the address given. Feel free to write a comment, share your views. Let's continue with our exercise. So we now have y equals to minus 6 to the power of, I mean, minus 6 to the power of 0, right? So minus 6 to the power of 0 minus 3. Now that is minus 1, right? And minus 3, slightly different, right? So we have minus 1 minus 3. So the y-intercept is minus 4 this time. You have to be careful. Perfect. So that brings us to the last five trial questions for you. I'd like you to now pause the video, answer these questions, and then take the test. Okay, question 11. y is equal to, we are still finding what? We are still finding y-intercept. Substitute the value of x equals to 0, and we know b to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Using that, we can find the y-intercept, and normally we are getting y-intercept as a plus c. Do you see that? So observe that it is the sum of a and c, which is your answer. Most of you must have figured it out by now. Anyway, let's write down 3 to the power of 0 minus 0, you may write plus 2. And anything to the power of 0 being 1, 1 plus 2 is 3. So y-intercept is 3, right? The next one here is y equals to 1 plus 7, 2 to the power of 0, which is equal to 1 plus 7 and 8 this time. Next one, minus 2, 5 to the power of minus 0. Substitute x equals to 0. Makes sense, right? So we get minus 2 times 1, which is indeed minus 2. And 14th one is y equals to pi by 2, right? And here we have 3 by 2 to the power of minus 0 which is equal to pi by 2. So our answer here is pi by 2, correct? Pi is 3.14, right? Okay, now the last question for you to practice, y equals to 2 times 10 to the power of 0 minus 3, which is 2 times 1, right, minus 3. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So that brings us to the end of this practice session. With that, you have learned that the y-intercept effectively is the sum of a and c, right? Feel free to write a comment, share your views. In case you want to learn from me directly, send an email to globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Makes sense, right? Last five questions are your test questions. So I'd like you to now pause the video, answer these questions. I hope in this journey of learning, you have seen how easily we can find the y-intercept. And key rule here is that the y-intercept is basically equal to the a value plus the c value. c value gives you translation up and down and a gives you vertical stretch. So the value of 1 being multiplied by a is a and plus c. That is your answer. So the very first one, what answer do you expect of the y-intercept? Can you write directly? Well, 6 into something to the power of 0 will be 6 into this time 2.25 to the power of 0 will be 6 into 1, just 6, right? So therefore, the others also you can write very easily. Here, the answer should be 5 plus 4, which is 9, and then it be 2 minus 4, which is minus 2, and then it should be 2 minus 3, which is minus 1, and the last one should be what? 6 minus 1, okay? 6 minus 1 will be 5. So these are the correct answers for your test questions. I hope you got them all right. 
Well, feel free to write your comment, share your views, and then watch our video on how do we find increasing and decreasing intervals for the exponential functions. Follow our series to understand and master the strategies of learning mathematics at any level up to grade 12. I hope it makes sense. Thank you and all the best.